Thank you. Today we are releasing the figures for Operation Safe Speed. Over 1,000 motorists were stopped and spoken to about their speed during the three-day statewide operation that commenced on Friday. The operation had an education and enforcement focus and particularly targeted those motorists driving at what are considered creeping speeds. Research shows uh, the risk of casualty crashes increases uh, or doubles with every five kilometres increase in a 60 kilometre hour zone and with every 10 kilometre increase in a 110 kilometre hour zone. Research also, also shows that a five kilometre an hour reduction in average travel speed will reduce rural casualty crashes by 30 per cent and urban casualty crashes by 25 per cent. Operation Safe Speed has a strong education focus with police stopping drivers not just to issue expiation notices but to issue cautions and educational material from the Motor Accident Commission which highlights how even a small increase in speed can significantly um, increase your risk of a casualty crash. Tra tragically, during that same three-day period, four motorists died on our roads. The full circumstances of each of those crashes is still uh, under investigation. However, speed is being considered as a contributing factor in two of those crashes. We know that speed, uh, particularly when coupled with other factors such as inexperience, alcohol, road conditions and seat belts, can uh, have ter uh, terrible consequences. During the operation, police issued a total of 1,054 notices, cautions and reports as they stopped and spoke to drivers. Thank you. Um, the two crashes um, which you say are being investigated so there was a crash at uh, Woodside with a 21-year-old um, um, uh, man lost his life and also a crash at Kapunda where an 18-year-old man lost his life. So we're investigating those um, and we are considering the aspect of speed. Not only uh, was that speed greater than the, the speed limit, but was that speed within the speed limit, but maybe not appropriate for the conditions at the time. So that's the things we look at during the investigation. When you say you um, gave, I think it was 530 people got caution notices instead of fines, why the option to give them just a caution? Does that message sink in further, do you think, sometimes? So with this operation, we're specifically targeting creeping speeds, OK? So police will also detect higher speeds, uh, and they, that might be more appropriate for a fine or an expiation. But where those speeds are considered creeping, and on this information or this research that shows if you increase your speed by five kilometres an hour, you can uh, double the chances of being involved in a crash, we stop those motorists during the, this operation and we explain to them that fact, that that research shows that you can be involved in a collision. Um, uh, there's a double chance of being involved in that collision. So we, we speak to them about that. We may issue them a caution and we also issue them some information from the motor accident condition that, that reinforces that research and those findings. Um, were there any hot spots in particular when you were looking at the figures? So there, were, there was no specific hot spots. It was a statewide operation and all metropolitan and all rural LSAs were involved with in, in this operation. The contributing factors were different depending on police, other police operations that occurred at the time. However, all um, police areas uh, participated in this operation. So what's your message to drivers now? Yeah, well, our message to drivers uh, at, at all times is just, it, it is, uh, uh, drivers or motorists need to be aware of the conditions in which they're driving. Speed is one of those factors that leads to um, casualty crashes and fatal crashes. This operation targeted specifically speeding drivers and creeping drivers who, who creep over the speed. So that was the point of this operation. It's part of our broader calendar of operations and we'll look at other operations targeting um, mobile phones, targeting seat belts, drugs and drink driving and, and recidivist offenders. And they're those fatal five that we always talk about. They're the five risk factors or the risks that drivers take that contribute the most to fatal collisions and casualty crashes. Is it frustrating that the message isn't 
it is frustrating at a time when we're focusing on speeding drivers that, that we've had four fatal crashes um, during the period of the operation. But, but I think um, our frustrations are really irrelevant when you think of the, um, uh, the I suppose, the, the feelings that those families of those people who have died are going through. We might be frustrated, but it's nothing to what they're going through. So with this, would you say that you're targeting, I guess, people who have just got a few cases? Yeah, look, absolutely. That, so we are targeting creeping speeds. People who are just creeping over what the speed limit is, creeping over the speed limit, we target those people, we pull them over and we, we stop them and speak to them and say, are you aware that by creeping you're doubling your chance of being involved in a casualty crash? That's the purpose of this operation. How we, many deaths have there been this morning? So since, since the start of July we've had six fatalities, or six fatalities this week. Okay. And we're also, I suppose the most important thing about that is we're also monitoring the, the welfare, the survivability of other people in hospital who have been involved in casualty crashes. So it's not just a matter of understanding that there's six fatal collisions. There are also a lot of other people who have been impacted by crashes as well. And, and that's, a, that's a real impact on our community, their families, their friends. Uh, it's an impact on emergency services and, and nurses and doctors in hospitals. So it's not just about fatal crashes, it's also those who are suffering quite badly as a result of serious injury collisions as well. Can you, um, sorry, just mention you've got some new very large planter boxes out the front. What are, what are these ones? I would have no idea. I would suggest that that's something to do with um, uh, just a um, um, capacity building around buildings. Yeah. Okay, is that it? Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, boys. Cheers.